Nancy and Wayne. O O C S I P. That took me a while to learn. I would just say O O C P S. <laughs> um, so our assignment was to actually get together with a classmate, or some of us had two, and we were supposed to contact an instructor and go to an event with them. What I'm going to be expressing here is that I learned to speak freely and in public places because of my classmate, the instructor, and the events we attended. What I learned from my classmates, I actually had two. It was Wayne and Clayton. And the purpose of this, as I read online, was for us to use each other to learn speaking skills, to learn speaking skills. And we were supposed to contact our partner and contact an instructor. That was supposed to go well. It did on one hand and it didn't on the other. It went well with Lane, as we see. He we were pushed both hard out. And Clayton actually went with another group. Um, the problem there was we had great communication. With Clayton, we didn't. Um, we never got a hold of each other. And that's mainly our fault. We, I, I spoke to him later, and <coughs> I actually told him, you know, we really didn't have the communication that we had. But we learned from it. We actually got on good terms with that, and he went with another group. What I learned with Wayne was that um, we went to these events together. We spoke about them. We did our critiques together. And we actually went to some live events um, together. That was a good thing. We have grown a friendship. We added each other on Facebook. <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> so that's how I feel that we grew. We um, hang out, do stuff. We study together. Even if I need help with another class, I'll go to Wayne. He's good with math. So it's a good thing. The second thing I learned was from the instructors. They, according to majoring in psychology, achieving your educational goals, professors are hard to get a hold of. They never have the time, like sometimes we do. So when you get a hold of them, they're always in a rush. It seems like they're rude. That's the first experience I got with Andy, Andy Bird. We went to e-learning with him. He was, oh, oh okay, okay, I, I, I don't have time, but, but send me your, your schedule and I'll send you mine. Okay, it never happened. I gave him another call and he apologized. We went to the meeting. And it was a different story, of course. Um, the other instructor was Mr. Hughes. He was actually the opposite from him. We, <coughs> he, I have seen him at the event, and a couple actually, because I went to a few um, on-campus live events, and he was there. So I couldn't get a hold of Andy, so I went to him and I asked him, is it okay if you're my um, instructor I contact? I explained to him the situation, and he said, yeah. <coughs> so he was the opposite from that instructor. The other thing I have learned from these meetings is how you can go <coughs> from the events. The event <coughs> I went to was, as I said, the e-learning with Andy Bird. And we went to Achieving the Dream. It was a staff meeting with Mr. Hughes. We had seen him there. And afterwards, he had approached me and asked, oh, I always see you there. And he's like, isn't it boring sometimes? It, it we. It was. It, w we, it was the same information that was given to us in the first staff meeting. It repeated a lot of stuff. We found errors. That's how I, I think I learned the errors, the ums. I tallied them. As I said in my other speech, I tallied every um. That's um. <laughs> 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 That's the way I've learned. I haven't really watched my videos, but I know I say a lot of ums. Um, my 
plan is to watch them at the end. So, no more else. Then, that's how I learned from my instructors. And the situations I, the events I went to. Those are the events we went to. We um, had some handouts. We had only one handout he had gave us. What I liked about the event is that he actually, he didn't, Andy Bird didn't really bring us into the, the conversation. We were just there. But another staff member was like, so what do you guys think about it? How do you guys e-learning? So they were talking about the online, like we're doing with Mr. and Betty, the online courses. Had, they were saying they want a simpler way so students understand, um, more organized. So she asked us, she asked our opinion, and we gave it. We told her how it's confusing <coughs> at times, and that's what their problem is. A lot of instructors didn't know whether the information was given out right, or whether they were the issue, or the students were the issue, and that's what they were trying to address. The second meeting, as I said, was long. It was kind of boring. It was a repeat of everything that had been said earlier. <coughs> but overall, I think I've learned a lot with these meetings. I learned that my classmates, there's, according to summarization in any subject, we learn better with a classmate. Like a computer, there's a backup. Yeah. That's our backup. So say I didn't remember something, I would call in, oh my god, when was the meeting? Do you remember? And that's how we, <coughs> the teacher, it was, they would show us. What I learned from Mr. Hughes was, he has <coughs> perfect sounding vocabulary. If you say something, he'll, he'll correct you. <laughs> he has really good vocabulary. And the events, we learned how a message should be brought up. We learned how to critique it. That's how I feel I learned. And according to step-by-step -step college and career success, there's a University of Carolina. They did a research and they said when you attend online, and not online, but I mean live events, you learn how to speak. You learn what speaking should look like because you attend so many. That's how I feel that I have learned through all of this. And I know that we didn't start off good with Wayne but we settled our differences. I mean with Clayton, I'm sorry. <laughs> with Clayton. But we settled our differences and now we're here with Rain. Um, according to Stop Walking on Eggshells, <coughs> says that now that you have a partner, you learn that you can speak to anybody. And that's what I feel we've learned, that we can speak anywhere through you. I've actually went to some events with The other one, I want to press the RGB oh, okay. button. Like I said, we went to some events together. There's Shanita. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's Shanita, Tish, and Lane at one event. And there is one event that. <laughs> what this is on the way to. Um, the live speed. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't looking. He just took it. But overall, we had fun. I feel like our experience with this was fun. We learned a lot from each other. Mm -hmm. And I'll let Wayne tell his side of um, our OOCS IP. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to stop? I stop first. Wait, one, two, three. 